Shotguns in Red Dead Online are a completely essential weapon and tool to use on the frontier if you'd like to be a successful outlaw. And no matter the type of content you're playing or your individual play style, whether you're a player out there who likes to rush the enemy at close range like me, or even if you're the type of player who prefers to hang back and use a repeater or a rifle for those longer range engagements, you most likely have a shotgun as your secondary long arm that you can just swap to just in case an enemy advances towards you too fast. And today on the show, we're going to be breaking down every single single shotgun in Red Dead Online and ranking them in order from best to worst, best meaning most useful, all around best stats as well as the most situationally reliable shotgun, and then the worst being the least used, the least picked, the more niche situation oriented shotguns. Of course, big disclaimer here, when I say worst shotgun, I don't mean it's bad, I don't think there's a bad shotgun in the game, but you're gonna see here why some are more of a jack of all trades style shotgun in the category, and others could just be more suited for a specific play style or a ability card build, in-game gunfight situation, etc. It's also been four and a half years since my last shotguns in-depth video, and so you'll find here that there's so much more rigorous testing and detail that's been done for this video compared to the one that came out just after Frontier Pursuits. So now that you know what to expect, let's quickly break down some of the criteria we're going to be analyzing here. There's so much more to it in this game, but these are just some of the more important ones you got to keep in mind. Bloom size, which is going to be the indicator where the bullet can land. All values here are percentages of how much of your screen the bloom size takes up. So a smaller number is going to be a smaller bloom circle, meaning a more accurate weapon. Also, we're going to be looking at shells here, not slugs. The bloom shrink speed, which is the length of time it takes for your weapon's bloom to shrink to its minimum size. We're going to be specifically looking at the time it takes for the bloom to shrink after you fire the weapon, since the bloom size after readying or while moving are only for the first shot in a succession of shots you'll be firing in most in-game scenarios. We'll be looking at ammo capacity, which is the maximum amount of ammo that the weapon can hold before a reload. The reload speed, of course, the length of time it takes to refill your weapons to max ammo capacity. DPS, which is the damage per second, and this is going to take into account all of the animations associated with the weapon between the shots as well. And the one-shot kill range, which is the approximate maximum amount of steps for a one-shot kill while you're ADSing the weapon. So jumping into number one, we have the Pump Action Shotgun, which is known for its accuracy and consistency in this game. The Pump Action Shotgun is a reliable choice across all game modes, and its tight bloom and fast recovery make it an excellent weapon for securing those one-shot kills within its effective range. The blend of accuracy, damage, and a larger magazine here. The blend of accuracy, damage, and a larger ammo capacity here makes this weapon a nice balanced option for both PvE content as well as PvP engagements. When it comes to the stats of this weapon, the pump action shotgun has a bloom size of 2.28% of your screen. The bloom shrink speed is 0.8 seconds. Your ammo capacity is gonna be five shells. It has a 2.5 second reload speed. It has a DPS value of 209, and the maximum one-shot kill range is at about 15 steps. Now, there is one inaccurate stat that the game tells you about this gun. It says the pump action has a faster reload speed than the double barrel when you compare it in-game, but it actually reloads slower. And then the pump action also shows a faster reload speed than the semi-auto, but they're actually both at the same speed. So don't judge it just by the in-game stats. Showcase it by testing it out yourself, which I already did for you. And moving on to number two, if you're enjoying this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So now talking about number two, we have the double barrel shotgun. The double barrel shotgun in Red Dead Online shines out with the highest damage per pellet ratio here, extending its lethality beyond the typical shotgun range. The main drawback to this gun, however, is the larger bloom size and the slower bloom recovery speed, which demands precision aiming by you, or you need to use Paint It Black, of course, and that's going to give you the ability to maximize the effectiveness of this gun. If you use Paint It Black, it turns the double barrel shotgun into a sniper shotgun, in my opinion, and so the power at close to medium range without Paint It Black is undisputed, and then it also has incredible incredibly long range with one shot kill range capacity as well, up to 15 steps and significant damage at 20 steps. So again, let's jump into the stats. The bloom size is going to be 2.85% of your screen. The bloom shrink speed is going to be 1.8 seconds. The ammo capacity is going to be two shells. The reload speed is going to be 1.8 seconds. It has a DPS value of 251 and the maximum one shot kill range recorded with this gun is 18 steps, which is incredible. Next for the repeating shotgun at number three, the repeating shotgun and trades a slight decrease in accuracy, but you do gain an additional round here. Potentially, that's going to be more suited towards PvE combat situations where the volume of fire is going to be more beneficial than just having high accuracy than in the case of, say, for PvP. 
for example. It also maintains competitive damage and competitive damage range, and it's positioned very closely next to the pump action in terms of effectiveness here. So definitely my first choice for PvE would be the pump action. For PvP, it would be the double barrel. My second choice for PvE, which I still use very consistently, is this repeating shotgun. The bloom size of this gun is 2.85% of your screen. The bloom shrink speed is gonna take 0.9 seconds. It has a six shell ammo capacity. It has a reload speed of three seconds or a reload time of three seconds, I should say. Its DPS value is 209 and the one shot kill range approximate maximum is 16 steps that we recorded here. Another inaccurate stat notice with this gun, it does show that it has the fastest reload speed of all shotguns, but it actually reloads the slowest here as we just proved. Now moving on to number four, we have the semi-auto shotgun. This is the shotgun that offers the highest rate of fire among all shotguns in the game, but this does come at the cost of accuracy here especially notable when stationary or when you're moving. Its unique trait that this gun has is the enhanced fire rate during hip firing, so that makes it potentially effective when used with specific ability cards like Slippery Bastard, for example, for those hip fire engagements, because accuracy with the SB ability card is standardized across all guns, but this niche kind of lies within a specialized build that's gonna focus on mobility and close range combat. It's not necessarily the gun that's super good. When you just ADS, the fire rate isn't that much better than any other shotgun in this game. So when it comes to the bloom size of the semi-auto shotgun, it is 3.42% of your screen. The bloom shrink speed is 1.4 seconds. It has a five shell ammo capacity. It has a reload time of 2.5 seconds. The DPS value is 219 and it has a maximum one shot kill range of 15 steps. Once again, another inaccurate stat notice here. The semi-auto shotgun, the game says that it has the highest accuracy of all shotguns, but like I said, it is actually the least accurate. And finally, moving on to number five, we have the sawed-off shotgun. This shotgun is distinctive for its versatility as a sidearm here, unlike any other shotgun we discussed. So you get offered devastating power in close quarters, and the ability with this gun to be dual-wielded with medium to long-range firearms does complement an aggressive playstyle really well. So you get to ensure your dominance within that 10-step range. You can use a repeater, rifle, and two sawed-offs for most effective gunfights here. The high DPS value, also facilitated by the rapid fire rate and the potential to use two types of special ammo, is going to compensate for the limited range and quick ammunition consumption that you get with the sawed-off, but overall the sawed-off shotgun balances between firepower and range, and overall I think it is a nice strategic choice for players adept at managing their ammo and positioning in the game. So when it comes to the bloom size, very inaccurate, 4.56% of your screen, the bloom shrink speed is going to be 1.75 seconds. It has a two shell per gun ammo capacity with four in total if you're dual wielding. The reload speed or the reload time is gonna be 2.5 seconds. The DPS value is through the roof though. It's actually 945, which is incredible. And then your maximum one shot kill range with these that I could record here is 12 steps in total. Now remember, with all of these guns, each shotgun here presents a unique balance of strengths and weaknesses, and they're all gonna emphasize different aspects of combat in red than online. As a player, you should consider your play style, your preferred engagement range, and specific game mode requirements when selecting a shotgun for you to use. Obviously, that sawed off is gonna offer unparalleled burst damage in close combat, the double barrel excels in damage per shot, the pump action stands out for its accuracy, and the repeating shotgun stands out for its ammo capacity, and then the semi-auto for its firing rate here. Incorporating these weapons into your arsenal are gonna require some thoughtful consideration of your overall strategy, like I said, and also it's gonna depend heavily on whether you're more interested in PvE content or even PvP showdowns. Each shotgun has its place in this game, and overall I think Red Dead Online has a very diverse and good set of shotguns in this game. So with that said, we're gonna be wrapping things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you wanna follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.